Welcome to Portugal! For the fourth time, Ribeduro is host of the Portuguese Formula 2 Grand Prix. And the Saturday opening ceremony already became a tradition before the boats hit the water for the first time. 21 drivers and their teams were made to feel welcome in the beautiful landscape of Duros Valley. Getting in contact British pilot Steve Holt had a very special moment in qualifying Q1 when he was outside of Oscar Samuelson in turn 5 and both came together. Fortunately, Holt could save his boat from crashing out. But at least this was one of the spectacular scenes in qualifying. Tendencies after she had a great race at the last Grand Prix in Brindisi, moving up 8 positions from 16th to 8th spot, Mette Bjergnes proved her uptrend in Portugal. Top 10 in free practice and top 10 again in Q1. All of a sudden even Q3 shootout was at her fingertips. But in Q2, Bjergne suffered from technical issues making her boat undrivable, so she had to pull out of the session. That means Mette Bjergnes will start from 14th on the grid at Sunday's Grand Prix. Wrong decision American pilot Brent Dillard was doing well at Saturday's free practice, but a 8th position at the end left some room for improvement. The team decided to change the engine right before qualifying, even though Dillard didn't want to take the risk of running an untested engine. Of course, there are always two sides of the story, but at the end, Dillard was not competitive in Q1. 2.9 seconds down and position 19 were more than disappointing. Hard times for Dillard and his team, but it wouldn't be the first time that Dillard rolls up the field from behind at a Grand Prix. Too late to start. Ola Pettersen, second on the podium at the last Grand Prix, also was looking for a top qualifying result here in Portugal. A 10th position in Q2 meant he would be the first to enter Q3 shootout. But a last-minute propeller change got the drama started. Patterson wasn't ready right in time and the decision of the race direction was strict. Even though Patterson made it on the course, he was excluded from Q3. The Swedish pilot, more than unhappy with this decision, has to start from 10th spot on the grid at Sunday's Grand Prix of Portugal. Q3 Shootout After Q2 it seemed obvious that the decision for pull position would be between championship leader Rashida Kemsey and Stefan Hagen who was fastest in Q2. But when it came to Q3 Shootout the pilots were facing changing weather conditions. Especially Stefan Hagen who was the final pilot on the race course. Right at that time heavy rain started, so the German couldn't put a perfect lap together. His best lap time at the end was only good enough for fourth position. Third on the grid will be Daniel Segenmark, the Swedish pilot who came second on the podium at the season opener in Kaunas only finished eighth in Q2, but with his Q3 lap he keeps all chances to repeat a podium result here in Portugal. Yeah, it's great. Uh, we had some problems in Q1 and Q2, a lot of boats, so we're quite happy to even get into Q3 and, uh, and the Q3 lap was um, very good, so I'm very happy. So at the end, the decision for pole position was between Tobias Mintekas, who was on top of the leaderboard, and Rashid al Kamsi. And the Abu Dhabi pilot once again was unbeatable, even though he was just nine hundredths of a second quicker than Norwegian Mintekas. Yeah, we are always close and uh, this proves that we are on the same level, because 0 0.09 is nothing, so we are there. So for the fourth time this year, Rashid al Kemsi will start from pole position and this could be a key factor for winning his second championship title already here in Portugal at Sunday's Grand Prix. Yeah, the course is uh, longer than uh, last year. It is a little uh, difficult because the top three all uh, same the time. 
But we got uh, the pole, and I'm happy. My team is happy for that.